Our planet is under pressure. We all know it, and it's all based on science. Climate change is one of the defining issues of our time. It's more than certain, and the evidence is clear. It's all caused by humans. And at the same time, nature is declining globally due to our relentless demand for the Earth's resources, leading to loss of biodiversity, among other severe consequences. And the awareness of climate change and loss of biodiversity is increasing. But as consumers, we feel powerless and frustrated because we don't know how we can contribute with something that really matters. Globally, we are consuming the resources of 1.8 planets. In Europe, this figure is 2.8 planets. And guess what? Norway and the Nordic countries are worst in class. They are behaving like they had the resources of 3.5 planets. So we are consuming too much and too fast, and we really got to change. Is there something out there, more than hope, to help us? Is there something that could empower us consumers into a more sustainable way of consuming? I have great news today, because there is a way. If someone could move us from a linear way of consuming into a circular way. In a linear way of consuming, we extract natural resources, make them into products, and when we don't want those products anymore for several reasons, we throw them away. So we deplete our resources, we emit greenhouse gases in the process, and waste is piling up everywhere. We have three problems. By moving into a circular way of consuming, instead of throwing away our products, we could repair them to make them live longer. We can even redesign them if we want them to look a little bit different to last longer. Or we can share them. We can even give them away to someone who might have a better use of it. Or we can sell them. And in the last resort, we can recycle them back to new materials so that they can go back into production and close the loop. And the potential is huge. Circle Economy has launched a report saying that the world is less than 9% circular. Or to put it another way, we are more than 91% linear. And there is a new report out for Norway and once again, we are the worst ones in class, with only 2.4% circular. But there is a huge potential. I might know what you're thinking. What I do doesn't matter. I'm a drop in the ocean. This is a too big problem for the consumers to solve. Well, let me put it this way like in the African proverb. If you think you're too small to make a difference, you haven't spent the night with a mosquito in your room. Still a bit skeptical? Do you have any proof of it? Well, I actually do. There is a calculation to prove it, and it's done by IVL, the Swedish Environmental Research Institute. In the calculation, there is 12 marketplaces facilitating online second-hand trade in 12 countries around the world. And the calculation is based on the assumption that by selling and buying second-hand, you don't have to produce a new item and you don't have to throw away an old one. How much greenhouse gases and material could potentially be saved by second-hand trade if each product is replaced by the production of a new one and preventing waste. And the results for these 12 marketplaces are amazing. In 2019, our users potentially saved 
25.3 million tons of greenhouse gases. That equals 50% of Norway's total annual emissions. And for the materials, potentially saved aluminium equals 60 billion cans. And for steel, it equals 2.5 million of those large uh, logistic containers. And last but not least, for plastic, it equals 204 billion plastic bags, or one and a half years consumption of plastic bags in the EU. So what we do as individuals do matter. We can make a difference if we move into a circular way of consuming. Because when you add up all our actions together, it becomes huge figures. So there is more than hope out there. We have solutions like the marketplaces facilitating secondhand trade. So all consumers, let's change. Let's start right now and start consuming in a more sustainable and circular way so that we can ease the pressure on our dear planet. Thank you for listening.